हेलो एवरीवन सो आई होप यू ऑल आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एट द मोमेंट सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीनियर पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो विल यूज लगरेंजेज मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस लेट्स राइट इट इन अ फॉर्म वी आर मोर फैमिलियर टू दैट मीन्स replace this del z by del x by p and del z by del y by q so this question will become m z minus n y p plus n x minus l z q it is not going to uh, matter much uh, as far as this question is concerned because anyway from the next step this p and q are out of the picture just for the sake of comparison i have written this now what is the standard lagrange's format that is pp plus qq equals to r so if you compare you are going capital p equal to mz minus ny your capital q is nx minus lz and your capital r is equal to ly minus mx what is uh, the auxiliary equation which we write while solving by lagrange's method you can say it as subsidiary equation as well that is dx divided by p p is your mz minus ny equals to dy divided by q and this is further equal to dz divided by r now this is method of grouping okay uh, if you want uh, to solve this now you can use method of grouping auxiliary equation is always you have to write either in method of multiply method multiply is just the extension of um, method of grouping so if you want to solve this by method of grouping you can easily see that we can't do that because this is all implicit function that means you can't separate x y and z so that you can integrate so in this type of uh, scenario uh, what we have is the method of multiplier uh, why do we use method of multiplier because this three fractions are not sufficient to generate two equations okay that's why we need some more fraction either one or two we definitely need two more such fractions each will give us equation okay because uh, the two fractions that will get they will individually be sufficient to find two equation right now if uh, this would have been a explicit function you would have compared this and this got one equation and this or this or the second and the third one and got another equation so you would have got two equation but now the two equations which will get now they will individually be sufficient we don't need to pair them up how let's see but before coming to that uh, let me explain method of multiplier with the help of an example now uh, this is uh, not a part of a question this is just a small explanation so you have 1 by 2 as a fraction you also have 2 by 4 and you also have 3 by 6 these three are fractions now i also can do one operation i can add the numerators so if i do so this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and add the denominators as well so this is 2 plus 4 plus 6 what i am getting is 6 by 12 now what is common in all these three this all three is equal to 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 and this is also 1 by 
this is the main concept of method of multiplier that if this three fractions are not sufficient you can generate n number of fractions now how we uh, got this second fraction and the third fraction i had 1 by 2 now what i did i multiplied both by uh, 2 so i get 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 2 okay then in third fraction how i got i multiplied the first fraction by 3 1 into 3 2 into 3 fine uh you can suppose that in first fraction i multiplied by 1 so these are the important things 1 2 and uh, sorry 1 2 and this 3 because this is what you have to think while solving method of multiplier that's uh, why method of multiplier be becomes a bit difficult because this is the thinking part okay and uh, rest is easy just uh, add this 3 then also the fraction is going to be same equal to 1 by 2 okay now because they are same you can equate them so let's uh, come to our question we have this three fraction okay so we have to choose such value of uh multipliers so that this de uh, denominator after multiplication of multiplied that sum becomes zero so right now i have m z minus n y and n x minus l z and l y minus m x how can i make zero the first option would have been to add all these three but because terms are distinct adding will not do then what we can do we have m z here we have m x here if i multiply this by x this will become mxz if i multiply this by z this will become mzx can you spot the pattern this if multiplied by x i have to do with both the terms this i have to multiply by z i have to do with both the terms and obviously you can track the pattern if this multiplied by x this multiplied by z obviously let's multiply this by z. and now if you add them you are definitely going to z0 mzx mzx plus minus gone nxy nxy plus uh, uh nxy nxy plus minus gone lzy lzy and lzy plus minus gone that's giving you zero and because this is giving you zero and the moment you put it here uh so it will be Uh, the what are you multipliers now x y and z so let's take uh, don't take three fraction any one let's uh, take that so dz by ly minus mx because anyway they are going to be multiplied by zero only numerator ldx l m n n because it is going to confuse you in this question so the three multipliers which we have the first multiplier we multiply with dx second we multiply with dy third we multiply with dz and in denominator what we have we have this thing only this thing we write in denominator because but we are knowing that this is going to be zero so zero now if you can compare this with any of these three anyway they are going to if you cross multiply now if you are going to solve this two equation if you cross multiply you are going to get x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0 integrate so you are going to uh, get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to c if you can send this to to that side you are going to get x square y square z square equals to 2c 
टू सी यू कैन नेम एज सम अदर कॉन्स्टेंट लेट से दैट सी वन एंड लेट से दैट इक्वल टू यू ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू आर फेमिलियर टू दैट वेरिएबल ऑल्सो फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ओके नाउ अगेन आई टू थिंक अब इट बिकॉज आई हैव जस्ट गॉट वन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन आई हैव टू थिंक फॉर अनदर इक्वेशन नाउ अगेन राइट दिस राइट दिस डिनोमिनेटर्स सो यू हैव एम जेड माइनस एन वाई यू हैव एन एक्स माइनस एल जेड एंड यू हैव एल वाई माइनस एम एक्स हाउ कैन वी मेक दम जीरो वन पॉसिबिलिटी वॉज टू मल्टीप्लाई दम बाई एक्स वाई जेड दैट इज गॉन नाउ वी हैव टू थिंक अगेन सो विथ फर्स्ट थॉट फ्रॉम दिस टर्म्स परस्पेक्टिव नाउ लेट्स थिंक फ्रॉम दिस टर्म्स परस्पेक्टिव this is ny you can see nx here so if you want to make this term same multiply this by uh x and multiply this by y so this will get cancel fine and uh, okay so this two will get cancel no problem how will we cancel the other terms other terms uh, this is mx this is mxz so this is the old method only that if you want to cancel this three uh, this is ly this is ny what if i multiply by l m and n let's check this is just a matter of hit and trial so this is lmz 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 gone lny lny plus minus gone uh, and mnx mnx gone yes if you add this you are going to get c now again take any of these three doesn't matter so dx by mz minus ny equals to again what are our multiplier this time it is l so l dx with second multiply you get dy with third multiply you get dz divided by 0 because denominator you will put this only and this is equal to 0 now if you cross multiply you are going to get uh, l dx Plus m d y plus n d z equals to zero. If you integrate this, you are going to get l is a constant. So x into l, m is a constant. M into y, integration of d z is z. So n z equals to c two. This is your second. Let's say this to be equal to v also. So as we need two suitable equations in terms of x, y, z, which we have got, final solution can be written in three ways. Okay, uh, the first way is phi of or f of whatever you like. First one, which is x square plus y uh, phi of u comma v equals to zero. So phi of what is your u? U is your x square plus y square plus z square comma v is your lx plus my plus nz this is the first one second one is to write like this x square plus y square plus z square is phi of second one lx plus my plus nz third method is to write like this uh, lx plus my plus nz equals to Phi of x square plus y square plus z square. These are the three method, whichever you want, you can uh, write. So I hope it was a bit lengthy, but uh, I was able to uh, give you the concept behind this. It was a fraction concept which you would have studied in junior classes. Just we implemented it 
in terms of variables and uh, nothing was problem yeah thinking uh, about what will be the suitable multiplier is a problem which you leave to your practice your practice will take care of that i hope you understood this uh, problem thanks and have a very very nice day